Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashi Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal in English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 7. Our today's topic is exercise 5.4. In our exercise we shall solve 38 noun question and 37 num question will be your HW. My dear students, I repeat, 38 num is your CW and 37 num will be your HW. My dear students, here today is our lecture number 5 and HW number 5 also. So, let us start our class. Our first question is 30 num question. Here, x to the power 4 minus 6. 125 and x square plus 3x minus 10 are two ex algebraic expressions. Number A, resolve the second expression into factors. Number B, determine the ACM of the two fraction, two expressions. Number C, determine the LCM of the two expression. My dear students, in our previous class, we shall all, we already learned that the ACF, how to determine the ACF and how to determine the LCM of some fractions. Here, the first known question is resolve the second expression into factors. So, let us start. First of all, you write given that we want to resolve the second expression into factors. So, first of all, you write given that the second expression is x square plus 3x minus 10. Dear students, here x square plus 3x minus 10. To resolve this into factors, what can we do now? Which method is applicable here? Yes, the method is middle term break. The method is middle term break. So, in order to do the middle term break, what can I do first? At first, we multiply these two numbers. That means, 10 and x square and it will be 10 x square. Now we, uh, now we break this 10 into two factors just like their subtraction will be 3. Subtraction will be 3. Now 10, 2 5 are 10. My dear students, if you subtract 2 from 5, then you get 3. And if you multiply 2 with 5, then you get 10. Then you get 10. Okay, that is why if we multiply x square minus 10, then it will be minus 10 x square. Now, if we multiply 5 with minus 2, then we get minus 10. If we add this two fraction to number, then we get plus 3. So, let us start x square plus 5 x minus 2 x minus 10. Here, from this two number, that means x square plus 5x. From this two number, which number is common? Common means that number which is present in two number. That means here x, here the first is x square, here x is present and 5x, here x is also present. So, we take x as common. Then we divide this x square by x and we get x. Okay. Plus sign is here. If we divide 5x by x, then we get 5. Okay. Next, minus 2x minus 10. From this two expression, which number is common? Here notice minus 2. Here minus 2 is present. Here in minus 10, minus 2 is also present. So, we take minus 2 as common. We divide this minus twice x by minus 2. If we divide, then we get x. Now, if we divide minus 10 by minus 2, then we get plus 5. Okay. Okay. Now, from the whole term, which number is common? Notice, x plus 5, x plus 5. So, we take x plus 5 as common. Here left x and here left minus 2. So, after resolving into factor of x square plus 3x minus 10, we get x plus 5 into x minus 5, x minus 2. So, it is the answer.
for your better understand i discuss the middle term break again at first you multiply this first number and last number again that means here x square and here minus 2 you must consider the sign when you multiply these two number here plus x square here minus 10 x square after that you notice the middle term here middle term is 3 x so if we add or subtract then we get 3 and if we multiply then we get minus 10 x square so here minus 10 so we must subtract and then we get plus 3 x so how can you then you convert this 10 into factors 2 5 is a factor and 5 is greater so we subtract 2 from 5 and we get 3 i hope you have understood how to solve mid interrupt break okay so number a question is done after completing your uh, answer you must write answer okay i erase question number a and start to solve question number b my dear students you notice determine the hcf of the two expression here there are two expression one expression and two expression if you take the second expression from the first expression you need not to solve here but the questions carries four mark for this reason you must solve first expression and also second expression do not write from a we get x square plus 3 x minus 10 equal to hot ok so you must do you must solve first expression and you must solve second expression so question number b first expression is x to the power 4 minus 6 to 5 my dear students here notice x to the power 4 minus 6 to 5 so what can we write x to the power 4 x square whole square minus and we write 625 as 25 a square here 625 is the a square root of 25 so we square 25 and we get 625 can you check 25 multiply 25 5 5 ja 5 25 carrying 2 5 2 ja 10 and to 12 and one's place is 0 2 5 ja 10 2 2 ja 4 and 5 5 2 6 so if we a square 25 then we get 625 okay now here who is formula is applicable a square minus b square formula so we write what is the formula of a square plus b square a plus b into a minus b so write x square plus 25 and x square minus 25 just like a plus b into a minus b here you notice x square minus 25 that means here a square minus b square formula is also applicable so we write x square plus 25 then write x whole square minus 5 whole square as 5 is the square root of 25 so we a square 5 and we get 25 then we apply a square plus b square formula that means x plus 5 into x minus 5 i hope you understood how to convert the first expression into factors so first of one, first one is done then second expression second expression we have already learned in question number a first of all we multiply these two number then we get minus 10 x square after that we convert this minus 10 x square into two factor that means x square plus 5 x minus twice x minus 10 ok here x is common left x plus 5 here minus 2 is common left x plus 5 my dear student notice x plus is common x plus 5 is common from whole expression left x minus 2 so first expression converting factors done and converting second expression into factors done now we shall find out the acf of the two fractions so how can we find out the uh, acf acm that means the common term only acf means we take the common term only here notice x square plus 25 is not present in second expression x plus 5 is present in a, a second expression x minus 5 is not present in 
second expression x minus 2 is not present in first expression. So, HCF is the only factor which is present both expression that means x plus 5. So, x plus 5 is the required LCM. I hope you have understood how to find HCF of these two fractions. Done? So, this is the HCF and question number C determine the LCM of the two expressions. My dear students, please notice in order to find finding out the LCM of these two expression, you must resolving first into factors of first fraction and second fraction just like this. So, I erase here C and first you write first expression then x to the power 4 minus 625 then you resolve into factors. After that you write second expression and you write x square plus 3x minus 10 then you resolve into factors. But here only one thing is sense. In question number B we find out LCM but in question number C we find out LCM. It is similar as question number B. So, when you do C, so you first do the uh, work of B same as that means first expression you copy the first first expression into factors then you copy the second expression after that you write LCM of the two expression LCM of the two expression my dear students HCF means common term only but LCM means common and uncommon term both x square plus 25 is not present in the second expression but in the first expression. So, first of all we write x square plus 25. Okay. Next x plus 5 present in both expressions so we take x plus 5 that means we take common and uncommon both term x minus 5 is not present in second expression so we take x minus 5 x minus 2 is present is third expression is also taken. My dear students notice x square plus 25 x plus 5 x minus 5. How can we get x plus 5 and x minus 5? By using formula a square minus b square. If we take a square that means x square and if we take the square of 5 then we get 25. So, we write these two fraction x square plus 25 as x square minus 25. I hope you have understood. Please notice from here x square minus 5 square. From this we can write x plus 5 x minus 5. But if x plus 5 and x minus 5 is given then you can write x square minus 5 square that means x square minus 25 x square minus 25. Here you notice x square plus 25 x square minus 25 from which you get x to the power 4 minus 625. So, we can write from this x to the power 4 minus 625 and x minus 2 and this is the required answer. I hope you have understood question number C. It is so easy math and it is very very important for your annual term. Question number A b and c a carries 2 marks b carries 4 marks c carry also 4 marks so next number question that means question number 37 will be your sw number 5 question number 37 will be your sw number 5 here if a equal to twice x minus 3 and b equal to twice x plus 5 then determine the value of a plus b that means you add this two expression that means a equal to twice x minus 3 and b equal to twice x plus 5. So, we add twice x minus 3 plus twice x plus 5 then you solve after that you get the answer. Determine the value of a square by using formula a square what is the formula of a square a plus b whole square equal to a square plus twice a b plus b square by using this formula you can solve this math because we know that a equal to twice x minus 3 a equal to twice x minus 3. So, we a square twice x minus 3 whole square. Then we apply formula and we get the answer. Question number C. 
determine the product of a and b by using formula if x equal to 2 a b equal to what what is the formula x plus a into x plus b how can we find out product of this two number that means the formula is x square plus a plus b into x into a b by using this formula you can find out the product of a and b after that you put the value of x equal to 2 and you get the value of a b and you can get the required answer i hope you have understood my today's lectures if you have any queries or questions about my class please make a phone call to me my phone call is my phone number is given here and you can also contact me uh, as messenger my messenger id is as my name ashish bishash my dear students sw is very important for your annual term you have already known this because based on your sw diary marks city marks and sbmrs will be given so please do your assign sw in your sw copy regularly submit it regularly your guardians or any other person can submit your sw in your school library within 10 am to 4 pm my dear students today's lecture is finished so keep practicing at home see you soon till then assalamu alaikum thank you